a plea from two grieving parents in York Region tonight. They are asking other parents to speak with their children about the responsibilities that go along with driving. That after losing a son and daughter to a reckless young driver last spring. And today, that teen was sentenced for the deadly crash. Crime specialist Catherine McDonald has this story. A 17-year-old boy who we can only identify by his initial CZ due to youth laws takes one final walk into the Newmarket Courthouse before being taken into custody, sentenced to one year in a youth facility, six months community supervision, and a six-year driving ban. We experience indescribable trauma every time we drive onto our street and enter our driveway. The sentence, little comfort to these parents who witnessed the speeding Mercedes strike and kill their children, 10-year-old Anaya Chowdhury and 4-year-old Jax Chowdhury, and seriously injure their neighbor on a beautiful spring day last May. This is what we lost. This is what you guys lost. This is what the world lost. The driver, who was then 16, pleaded guilty last December to two counts of dangerous driving causing death and one count of dangerous driving causing bodily harm and admitted to driving 102 kilometers an hour in a 40 zone. What may seem fun, cool or thrilling can destroy innocent lives and your own. My children lost their lives because of a few moments of selfish stupidity. In his reasons for sentence, Justice David Rose took into account CZ's guilty plea, remorse, insight into the offense and praised him for his excellent grades, noting the teen has already been accepted to the University of Waterloo for architecture. He has accomplished much in his short time and has set himself on a path for continued success as an adult. I cannot help but to think that if Jax and Anaya were not killed that day, they would have similar lives when each of them turned 17. It is a bitter irony. Court heard that CZ was charged with a Highway Traffic Act offense the year before killing the Chowdhury children. That charge was withdrawn, so the judge said it played no part in sentencing. However, Justice Rose took into account a letter that CZ had written in respect to a resolution in that case, in which he said the teen appreciated the consequences of dangerous driving. In that letter, CZ wrote, if you take someone's life in a traffic accident, you can't solve that problem. It happened, and now you will have to live with that for the rest of your life. Just asking everybody to please slow down and respect the loss. The Chowdhury's and their surviving child will never recover from their loss. Vowing to fight for safer roads and issues around dangerous and reckless driving. Parents, please sit with your young children, young drivers, and have them understand how so many lives hang in the balance if they make such careless mistakes. So CZ will be finished serving that sentence in open custody in just one year's time, and he'll be able to continue on as an adult, his identity forever protected in relation to this case due to youth laws. The Chowdhury's meantime say they are just trying to stay positive for their remaining daughter who lost an older sister and a younger brother, but they say that their lives are really, there's no joy in their lives and they have to carry on just for her sake. Back to you. It's just such a heartbreaking story. Thank you so much for your coverage. That's our Catherine McDonald reporting for us tonight.